Hello, beautiful people. So I just got my channel back after being locked out for three, three weeks. I feel like I've grown up and changed and like my life isn't even the same. It feels like it's been months. And so I want to clue you in. It affects you. We have a lot to talk about. The entire Entheogen community has changed. YouTube has changed it, but also so have a lot of other platforms and it affects other countries. There's a lot going on. I want you to know about it. So what I want to ask you to do, if you're here for the live, I didn't want to just record a video and then have to take the time to edit it. I wanted to get this information out to you because we have a lot to cover. So those of you that are here for the live, you can write whatever you want, but I'm going to say what I got to say and then, then we'll talk to you guys. So... Ooh, breathe, girl. Okay. <laughs> you may have noticed there's nothing left of my channel. And if you go to the playlist tab and look around, there's very little left of my channel. So by necessity, before my channel just gets completely removed, I've spent the last three weeks building my own website. And it looks amazing and I'm proud of it. So all of the videos that have been taken down or removed are now over there. But honestly, it looks amazing. So here's the deal. Every time I'm watching a YouTube video and someone I'm subscribed to or that I like says, now, if you run all over to the channel, I mean, if you'll run over to my website, you'll find. And it's like I don't hear that when they say it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to anyone's website because websites are they're selling something or it's just like a place to park on the Internet. Like, it's kind of pointless. I've never been to a website I cared about. Well, my website <laughs> is actually like the whole reason you signed up to my channel. I moved, I have been doing nothing but migrating video. Also, the entire three weeks that I have been locked out of my channel, I kept on going with my life. So as soon as I finished getting the website made, I kept making and uploading content. So I did interview the CEO of Psyched Wellness, like I promised I would. It's already uploaded over there. I interviewed Kevin Feeney the author of this book that I can't say the name of anymore. That's over there. And a recipe for making chocolates for this that I can't say what it is anymore. That recipe, that's all uploaded over there right now. But so are a lot of videos that are that have been gone for a long time that have been taken down. They're all over there. And while this was a hard process and I was sad and it was painful and it's all I've done for 12 and 14 hours a day and the learning curve and the sadness of watching my channel get dismantled, lots of grieving and crying, lots of crying. And there could have been some uh, recreational activities involved. I got through it and I realized, y'all, I'm going to be completely uncensored, completely free to do things on camera. So I ordered some Panther version of this because I'm doing that bitch on camera because I can motherfucker fuck YouTube. Also, I made an appointment to get a tattoo to celebrate this. So that's coming. Also, I am working with the Psychedelic Society of San Francisco to do a workshop for them. Also, I've decided to do in-person ceremony workshop thingies in my life, in person, you and me. And we're going to have the drum ceremony, all of that, where you see that we have the drums, where I play the drums on camera. So we're doing that. So if that's something you might be interested in, I'm talking to that place where we do the drums. There's a really cool house, three level house. That's amazing that everybody would sleep in and I'll feed you. So we will also take part in this. And so, I, these are all the things I have in the works. Like I said, a lot has changed. Something has changed in the Entheogen community that you need to know about. I want to tell you about it. We'll get there. And I'll leave you a list of all the stuff I'm talking about in the description of this video, but also at the end of this video. So my website is you don't pay for anything. You don't have to look for videos. I made it so that you you click on you go to the website and bam, there's the videos. And they're all organized by playlist and it's so much better organized. It looks so much better. They're not behind a paywall. Fuck that. I am not going to do that about this mushroom. So I've got to be careful. Can't even say that word. So it's there for you. Everything is there. I've had to take down all of the whatever reasons brought you to my channel. Those videos don't exist anymore. 
when you do a search, any search you could possibly do on Google about this that brought up my videos, all of those videos are gone. I'm not showing up right now. Oh, thank you, Jean. Oh, I'm so worried nobody would go. I've been making a party for three weeks and I didn't know if anybody would come. It's sad that I don't show up in search results anymore. I would be lying if I said I'm only positive and hopeful, although I am extremely hopeful and positive because a bunch of other things I haven't said yet. But it is a little unnerving that I took the leap of faith to spend the money I've spent. I've spent a lot of money and there's every chance in the world that this will tank and that my channel will get taken. Let me explain. They have chosen now to get rid of all videos that have to do with this. They have now deemed this deadly, dangerous, and illegal. I appealed it. If you want to go to my Twitter account and see the appeal, it is the most ridiculous exchange. Then that was just the beginning, but you're free to go read it. It's like there was no human involved. And I really don't think there is anymore. So any foraging videos that I had, they struck one of those down. They took down one about storing glass jars that they took one about ID. Um, but it was just this slew of waking up every morning to more. And it was like I was under attack every morning. I would wake up and cry at all the videos that were gone. And then they got a depth of psychonautica again for his unboxing video. So he took down all of his videos where he talks about this. So those are gone for him. He was locked out for a week. And the way YouTube works is they, they lock you out for two weeks from the date of the last video they took down. So for a whole week, I knew that that was like a two weeks from today. I can't get back in my channel. And this went on for a week. Y'all, all oh, the tears. I finally said enough of this bullshit and I took control and I just went on a deletion spree and I just deleted. Oh my God. Like y'all, thank you. Oh, thank you for the donations. Y'all. Oh my God. I think y'all might care. I've been so stressed about making this video worried that nobody would care. Like when YouTubers are like, Oh my channel, they're going to take my channel. And it's like, shut up. You're just trying to get attention. But like, this is real. And then the other thing is I went live on Facebook. This, you know how I do lives every second Saturday? Well, I went on and did my live over there because YouTube blocked me out. So if you don't follow me anywhere else on the internet and you like what I'm doing and you want to see where this is going, then you're already missing out because I didn't stop uploading content and I'm not going to stop living my life and I'm not going to let some conglomerate control what I can do with my life. So I went live on Facebook and it actually turned out to be amazing. Just as many people showed up over there as show up on YouTube. You don't have to have a Facebook account because guess what? I have OBS software now and I can go live on my website bitches, and I don't have to watch my words and YouTube can't censor me and Facebook can't censor me. And yeah. Also, I uploaded, did I tell you I uploaded? Cause I already tried to do this live once and it wasn't pushing it out to anybody. So I'm also, oh, thank you. I will keep it up. Oh my God, y'all are amazing. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. I can do this. I've been three weeks. I've been waiting to make this video. Oh, the pressure. <laughs> Okay, so what I did is I uploaded a recipe for chocolate. I showed you how to make it because this is different. You can't just do it like you would normal other. It's uploaded. It's already uploaded to my website. I interviewed the CEO of Psyched Wellness like I promised you I would. It's uploaded there. I interviewed Kevin Feeney, the author of this, which I can't say the title of anymore. It's up there. Okay, I'm moving on. <laughs> and so... That website legitimized me. I didn't realize I didn't feel like a legitimate person that deserved to be doing public speaking engagements because when you're just a YouTuber, people don't take you seriously. I needed this for so many reasons. 
and I knew it and I didn't do it. And I don't know about you, but when you know there's something you should do and you don't, it's like life kicks you in the nuts and makes you do it. Or in my case, the ovaries. <laughs> so I did it and I feel so much better. So I am going to be doing a workshop for the uh, Psychedelic Society of San Francisco. We're talking about how to do that. We're in talks. I was a guest we recorded yesterday on the Mushroom Hour podcast, huge podcast. That's kind of a big deal. It is in post-production. I will let you know when that happens. I made an appointment to get a tattoo. That is coming up. I'm going to take you with me and do it on camera. In addition to doing the tan version of, of the Panther version I'm, of this, they're in the mail. They're on the way. Going to do them on camera. So uh, there's a lot going on and more things. That, oh, thank you, Anthony. Y'all are amazing. Thank you. I think I'm going to be okay. I think it's going to be okay. So it's going to be weird living in two places. But if you, if you like my work and what I do, I totally understand you may be here for one thing, like the, the this. Or maybe you're here for the mental health stuff. And you tolerate my cinematics, because why not? Or maybe you like them and, and my drum videos or whatever. But this started it all, and this is probably 60, 70% of my life. This is why I do what I do. And that now has to live on the website. But what can still live on YouTube are all the mental health things. And I will have to hint at, which is really going to be weird, and then I'll still be uploading all my cinematic videos and bringing you along to my tea ceremonies and the drum things. And also I finally finished my fire ring and we had our first ceremony around my fire ring in the backyard. And that was really great. I'm editing that video. See stuff like that. I can still upload to YouTube, but the meat of what we do is no, it's not here anymore. It lives over on the website and that it's weird to me. How now am I going to be found? How are we going to help people right now? People are struggling and suffering. And as soon as I removed all those People started showing up, asking me all those questions they used to ask two years ago at the beginning of the channel, like how to make, how to consume stuff, things I can't actually say right here, right now, or I'll get censored. So the questions started all over again, and I've been trying to answer the questions until I could get them all uploaded over there. So now I'm just telling everyone, go to the website, go to the website. It's all there. It's all there. It's at the website. So now I'm trying to get the word out and focus on the website. Because now this is going to be my joy and my pleasure and my fun and the work and the meat of it is just going to have to live over there. But I did my best to build it to make it as easy for you as possible. I will never gatekeep the information. You will never pay to watch any of those videos. That's just not how this works. If I get paid for anything, it'll be voluntary. Like if you want to come to my in-person ceremony, that's on you. You want to pay for that. That's extra. We'll do that. You want to buy anything that I'm selling in my Etsy store? Cool. You want to donate like these super chats or Patreon or buy me a coffee? Cool. But you will never have to pay for the information that you need or for me to just entertain you or share my world with you. So I, that's my promise to you. So I'm going to put a poll up on the community tab and see if anyone be interested in coming and doing a, a ceremony with me in person this summer. It won't be cheap. There'll be a lot involved in it. So how long? Ramble, how long, how long, what? All right, so here's the thing. A lot of y'all have been like, notify me. Let me know when you're going live. Let me know when you've stocked your store, right? Well, now there's an email feature on my website. I just spit on you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And it's right at the top. Just put your email in there. I'm not going to be spamming you. I hate that shit. I might send an email out once a week, but I have to pay. Every time I send an email out, I have to pay and I will tell you, hey, the Etsy store opens this date. Hey, we're going live this date. Don't forget about it or let you know what's going on with the in-person workshops. Or if I'm a guest on a podcast or something and, and I think you might or I've uploaded new content because if you're on YouTube all the time, you were used to getting a notification or me showing up in your feed. Right now, the good stuff is going to be on the website. And the only way, you know, is if I send you the email and say uploaded this week or these two videos whatever. So if you want that, that's the first thing you'll see when you go to the website, amanitadreamer.net, amanitadreamer.net, because some asshole bought.com a long time ago and tried to hold it over my head to make money off of it, tried to extort me. 
I don't need three little letters that badly. I'm <laughs> moving on, y'all. So I need to hit some more. See, like that's what I can do when I do my lives now from my website is this thing I have right here that I consume. I can't consume on camera right now while I'm talking to you, but I can over there. Let's get into some nitty gritty stuff that you need to know about that affects you and the entire entheogenic community. So once this all started, I look dreamy today. I just got out of the shower and let my hair dry and do shit to it. That's good to know. All right. Ah, oh, y'all, my tattoo. I can't wait. Oh, I also applied for my passport because I'm leaving this country. I'm going to go places, y'all. As soon as they open the borders, I'm fucking gone. We're going to travel. We're going to see things. And I'm going to look at Amanitas and other places. Also, also, I gave you the recipe for the Russian oil extraction. That's uploaded at my website. But also, y'all, I ordered some Siberian ones. And they are amazing feeling. And I'm going to make the oil recipe with Siberian Amanitas. I'm also going to make my smoke blend with Siberian Amanitas. There's been a genetic study done and Siberia really is the birthplace of, and they are the genetic originals. So much stuff to tell you. I haven't been able to play with you guys in three weeks. So much to say. Okay. Everything coming up. Yeah. I'm putting my tattoo right here. I'm not going to show you the design. You'll have to wait until I get it done. You'll, you'll see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We talked about all this. Went live on Facebook. That was successful. It was great. The two sides of me living in two places. Okay. There's no way for me to count views over there on my website. There's no way for me to, there's no likes and thumbs up. There's no comment section. I will never know how many people made that trek over there and are actually enjoying my videos. And that's honestly been a really amazing thing to know because I've sort of let that determine my mental health. Yes, Peter, I, I have an email. I have an email list. I can let y'all know about stuff. So yeah, if you want me to come to your country, leave. I, don't, I can't promise that I will, y'all. It's going to cost me $1,200 round trip to go to Europe. So yikes. And I'm already spending a lot of money. It's so scary how much money I've been spending because if they take my channel down tomorrow before I bring people over to the website, it's all over. Like, all of this is over. So what I need to tell you about is bad news, but it's kind of exciting and it means we're kind of doing something right. So here's what's going on in the entheogen community. So if you go to YouTube and you typed in it, let's say that you wanted to grow the blue version, right? And you wanted to take that little vacation and you wanted to know how to make them at home and you remember how you used to could just type that in search on YouTube. And there were so many results about that, about grains and how to do all that shit. Well, they're gone. So I've been talking to other people that had other channels and they did the same thing to them. They did to me, keep striking them and locking them out. Right. And so one of the guys that I'm talking to, he did what I did. He just took it all down and he only left up things that weren't talking about that. Right. And then he uploaded a video on, okay, you know how this is out of the ground? You know the part that's under the ground that starts with an M? I can't say it. It's a trigger word now. The intelligence and sentience of that. And they gave him a strike and took his channel down. Okay. So all of this shit is going on. I don't understand why some of them about this are still allowed to be up on YouTube other than their really large channels. And I'm not going to get into conspiracy theories because they're as wild as anybody wants to get. And that's not the purpose and the focus of this. There's something important at play here. I was speaking to someone who lives in Switzerland and they have a drug education branch of their government and they have a YouTube channel, two of them, to disseminate information. The government does it, and it's and it's it's sponsored by the government because it's based on science so that people know how to get good information. YouTube took those channels down. Like, they're not fucking around. And it was about the naturals and the things that send you to places, right? And some that are not legal, but some that are. But they were definitely educational and based on science those channels just got deleted. So when I say it's a very real thing that I may get deleted, I'm not just making shit up. So someone just wrote Libri. Well, I got bad news there. 
So Libri is like an online library, freedom of information, ungated. And then they are the ones that started the Odyssey channel, which is where I have been uploading things that were getting censored over here. Right. And they have their own cryptocurrency, which is a cool system. So instead of having advertisers support the site, you work for the cryptocurrency. It's a closed system. And when you watch videos, then you get paid in their little coin currency thing. And then you can tip me. And that's how the creators get paid in the currency. And you can cash your currency out. And there are so many cryptocurrencies running around right now. They're everywhere, right? And there's closed sites that have their own. There's even the Dogecoin for fuck's sake, right? That was started out to be a joke, right? Well, the SEC just filed a lawsuit against Libri for their cryptocurrency saying that it violates SEC guidelines, which is total bullshit because they're not listed with the SEC. They're not required to be listed with the SEC. They're not supposed to be. They're not a publicly traded company. They are not doing business on the brick and mortar system. They have their own currency system. They're operating in an agreement with each of the people that are operating there with them in a closed system. No other cryptocurrency has to be, has to follow SEC. That's the whole point of a fucking cryptocurrency. It is a bullshit lawsuit. Everyone knows it's a bullshit lawsuit. Everyone knows it's going to get thrown out. But this is the beginning of harassment because that is where all of the people are going that are getting censored everywhere else. Also, recently, eBay and Etsy deplatformed all sellers. So you've noticed it's been harder and harder to find. Google is starting to do that now. And pretty much shadow ban or not allow it to show up in search results or put it further down in search results, except for the ones that have really strong SEO that have been in business for a really long time. So one of the things that I did to help them out is that on my website at the top, there's like a navigation bar. One says buy. I now have a vendor section where people can list their store. So that's there. That makes me very happy that I can do that. It's extremely important. So here's what you need to know. It is not about the pharmaceutical companies. Let's just say that now, because number one, they have already lost their patents on most of their antidepressants and the benzodiazepines are off patent. They don't make money on those. And not only do they not, but they are now facing lawsuits, a lot of lawsuits for the pain medications and for the benzos. So it's not the pharmaceutical companies. If anything, it's the alcohol lobby they are a very strong lobby and they see this as recreational and they think it's going to cut into their and they're probably right but even if it isn't that they're calling this deadly and illegal when it clearly is not and i'm clearly not violating their terms of service and if i had the money i'd fucking sue their asses and if i get the money one day guess what i'm gonna do not that it would matter anyway i digress the point is at this point if Governments can't even have a channel to educate people, right? If they're going to start harassing private, not-for-profit Libri, Odyssey, and their own coin, that means that over time, just, you need to listen and stop freaking out about conspiracy theories. Come on, pay attention. Listen to this. This is important. Think about something bigger than us right now. What is going to happen to the generation that is in 10th grade, 5th grade, just being born? That a decade from now, what is this environment going to look like for them? Right? You need to listen to that interview with the CEO of Site Wellness because it's going to be really interesting. This is the Wild West. Because it was different when weed was coming up because it was definitely a recreational community. And they bootstrapped that and they did that from the ground up. Stoners like pushing for laws to change for recreational purposes. And they used medical as a way to get around it to push it. Right. We have since learned it does have good medical use. And a lot of ADD people use it. And a lot of people need it. And I'm not knocking that. 
but it's not considered the highly medicinal thing that the rest of this stuff that we know is that is now we are moving toward legalization at a time where all of the platforms are deplatforming people. There is a woman that lives in Russia that is the most dear, beautiful soul. And she started a group on Facebook devoted to this to help give people lore and information that's been handed down for generations. And she sells and she keeps getting put out, locked out like that. This is some serious shit. And I'm waiting for them to do that to my Facebook page. So even platforms that haven't historically done this are doing it now. And they're not owned by the same company. Google owns YouTube. Facebook owns Facebook. So I'm concerned about Instagram, although it's really weird over the last three weeks, like 25% of my channel numbers that I had over there, just it jumped like that by that many people. So there's been a sudden surge over there of people wanting to know about this. And also it's season now for the Southern Hemisphere. So they're looking for information. So I'm trying to post as much as I can on Insta before that gets taken down. But what are you going to do now? And where are you going to get your information about this community, the laws, how things are changing, use, following others that are doing it and that are talking about it, the podcasts and all that? Well, let me tell you, there's going to wind up being two kind of people. And I don't usually do that. I'm not a black and white thinker, but the powers that be are forcing this bifurcation of the community. You're going to be the kind of consumer that wants it to be easy and you like your car and your lights and you just and your your train and your whatever and you go and you get what you get and you scan your card and then you go home. You get your information by just clicking on your phone and just opening it up and, you know, boom, there it is. There's the people. There's me. There's the other people you follow. You go here. You go there. You have your entertainment. You have the ones that the your particular one of choice that you care about altering yourself with and you follow those. Right. Except that you don't notice when they leave. Most of the time you notice when they show up, but if they if they've been deplatformed, you probably don't even realize it in, until I've said something about it. And you may be like, wow, I wonder if they're still there. You know, and that's just how our brains work. But what this is doing is it's taking all of these networks from educational, like about everything that you want to know about. And it's slowly turning them into solely entertainment channels, entertainment platforms just like it has done to me. The meat of my channel is gone and it is completely, it's going to be entertainment as far as like mental health stuff. I get kind of serious about that stuff because it's important because a lot of people need it. They're coming here for this also need that, but predominantly it's going to be entertainment. And if you'll notice that's where you, YouTube is headed is just entertainment. The whole documentary lifestyle that, that you could get there is going away. And it's going to start happening all around you until we are an idiocracy. Not that we weren't already headed in that direction. But you contrast that against the fact that the whole country, at least in the United States, is moving toward legalization. And hopefully for Great Britain and Australia, when psych wellness finally gets the Canadian and the American versions of the FDA on board with safe for human consumption and then medical claim use, then the other governments will start changing. Hopefully about the other one, the blue one, and then other things that affect this that we are learning about and talking about as those then become legal here and then become legal in other places. Then we're going to be left with the people that are only around for what's easy to consume and you just become a consumer of entertainment and somehow you quit learning about all these mind expanding things. And then before you know it, you don't know where it all went and you don't know how to find anybody. And then there's the others of us that take this shit seriously, that we believe passionately in our autonomy and our rights to Practice whatever we want to practice and to do with our bodies and our brains, whatever we feel like we have the right to do. And then once it's legal, even more so. Right. And we realize 
that there's sort of a war going on. And and if this is the way that platforms are going to go, if we are the commodity and we are the product of these platforms and they steer us in the direction of mindless, entertaining idiots, then if you seriously enjoy this, if you want this, if you need this, if you want that education, all of it, then watch as all of the people you had leading the way that you've been learning from have to go onto their own private platforms and pay out of pocket to do that. And who's going to do that? Not everybody, but the ones that fucking mean it and the ones that care. So the days of sitting back and having it all fed to you as you play around and you get some entertainment, and then you educate yourself a little bit, and then you go back to some entertainment. Those days are quickly coming to an end. And it is going to be a situation where you will have to be an actually active, informed consumer of product and information and documentary and education. You're actually going to have to work for it. But by work, I mean, go to all of your educators and creators and ask them, where are you off of social media and wherever they are, go there and whatever they need you to do, do it. And if you can't do, do it with money, do it in the other ways. So it's equally as important for me because I have the donors. I have the people supporting me. I'm happy that they believe in me. But here's my big problem and where you can help me if you don't have money. And that is all of the links that I left in the first year of my channel all over the Internet. They now link to dead videos. Nobody can find me now. Nobody knows how, if they need help with benzos, if they need help with this, they've got them and they don't know what to do. Them. If they can't find where to get them, all that stuff, all of the information that was easy, did a Google search, boom, there I was. Those days are over for those people. You got in early, you got in just in time, but those days are over where anybody could find out this. It's back to the days before I existed, like I had to do it and just dig and do the research. You know what I mean? The whole point of me making my channel. They are now living in the dark ages all over again, and they don't know where I am or how to find me. So my asking you for support is one, if you want to know if I get deplatformed, I'm going to keep living my motherfucking life. I got plans. I'm doing things. I will be a speaker at larger and larger mushroom conventions and in theogen places and things I've got things that I'm planning that I can't talk to you about, but the numbers are climbing and it won't just be small venues anymore or small guests channels where I will be. It's happening because the world wants to know and the world needs the information. So the mushroom is like, go girl, we got you. So it will happen. But the people that need this don't know where to find it. So the only thing I know how to ask you to help me be, a hundred people is wherever you play, wherever you frequent, pick something off the website and leave it there. Whatever group you're in, whatever subreddit you're in, leave the name of the website. Hey, this girl, she's got you. Put that over there, whatever. Um, if you can go on Quora and answer questions about panic or anxiety or benzos or whatever, or about this and how it works or how to blah, 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 you know, leave, leave, these around so that it can be found and what I'm going to start doing when I am speaking, when I am doing podcasts, I'm really going to push that amanitadreamer.net and not so much the channel anymore, which makes me sad because this is where I play. <laughs> this is what I love. This is where my community is. It's going to be weird to live in two places, but you know, it's a divorce. So what are we going to do? Right. You got to make it work. Okay. What else do I need to tell you? The in-person where, oh, ball caps. Is anybody interested in me selling ball caps with an embroidered logo on it? Like I have a chance to buy some at a good price, but right now I'm spending so much money on this website is kind of scaring me. Like I'm really overextended financially. Anyway, think about that. I'll put some polls up on the community tab. I'm really freaked out y'all. It was really hard going through and just taking down all those videos. It's I'm happy now that they exist on a website that that's cool. Like they're, they're over there, but it was just really weird and hard and sad, but I feel like I've grown up and changed. 
three weeks ago, I was still a child enjoying the newness of my parents and my YouTube and my channel. And now I got kicked to the curb and I had to do get out in the streets and I feel like I've grown up. But it's all good. I think it's really, really good. I'm making headway. All right. I'm going to read what y'all need me to read over here and we'll talk. Share the site. Google search when I start a channel. Uh, okay. Whew, the sides of me, the guests that I was on, upcoming videos, news about the entheogenic community. Y'all, I think I covered it all. Yes. Uh, here we go. I'm going to start reading what you all. Hi, blog. It's a decentralized blockchain. Cool. Y'all, I want to mine coin. That would, but I don't have the money to set all that up. Okay, here we go. You love my website. Thank you, John. Grass for the site and so brave to not put paywalls. I believe the money will come by the people who can afford it. And I don't believe I should steal it from the people who need the information. You know what I'm saying? You've grown through the struggles. I hope so, T. I hope so, T. Thank you, Rizloft. Anthony, I'm so happy you've been able to create your own answer. Screw the censorship, right? It's not just this one, though. It's all of them. Of course we care. Thank you, Marlo. You signed up. Yay. I'm going to send an email out, I think, uh, Friday. Also, I have a calendar on the desktop. You can see my calendar of events. So that's kind of cool. The website looks great. Signed up. I think it was 15 dry cracker various forgot how long to bowl. I love your choice of words, Rambler. That's fucking brilliant. Okie dokie. Where's your information? Website, Facebook. Yes. Do you have an email list? Yes. Peter. Yes. Yes. Reminders. Yes. You have the best ethics when it comes to building social media. Aw. Thank you, Marlo. That's an autistic thing. And sometimes it's really annoying. <laughs> I've been fired from Jaws because of my own. <laughs> oh, I love you back. Steven, you're so awesome. Steven supported me. He bought a lot of stuff from my Etsy. Have a cup of comfort coffee. Thank you, Anthony. Did you get me one? Thank you. I haven't checked my email. I look dreamy day. My hair. By the way, I tried the... I almost said it. Shit. Oh, the yogurt thing. Zero. Really? That's fascinating. And even affects... I'll let it sit. Wait. Oh, okay. You think so? This is good, though. This is good information. So the fermentation must have... No, no, no. Fermentation actually increases it. I don't know. This is interesting. We need to have that conversation. They use the reindeer in Siberia. I heard. Cute. Got it. No, they do. They do. Actually, I've been reading about reindeer parasites. They get parasites in their nose and they eat this to kill it. Thus, Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer, their red noses turn red when they get infected. How cool is that, right? It's so cool. Um, uh, come to Bulgaria. Plenty, plenty of cool, crazy, plenty. Okay. <laughs> uh, Marlo, shoot me an email of your contact information. I'm keeping contact information right here in my office drawer of anyone who offers that up. I'm also working on a really, really, really big project that I'm afraid to say anything about because I don't want other people to like beat me to it. But also I need to fundraise for it. I need about $250,000. But I will need people in different countries help. So give me, send me your information, Amanita Dreamer, Gmail. Pharmaceutical companies hate you and they are power. Yeah, we talked about that. Um, yes, this does suck. I saw that email. I was so confused. What email, Abigail? I just sent like a thank you for signing up. It was like one or two sentences. Um, thought further pushing the final into yogurt to ferment three days, mixing vitamins will increase the fate. Maybe, maybe, mister. No, the science on that just says the lactobacillus will do it. I don't know. The science is there. It's like a 99%. Companies don't want anyone cutting in on business. Well, we talked about that. I uh, listen to Meaning Wave, Akira the Dawn. No, I'm going to go back through this later. I make notes and I listen to podcasts people want me to listen to. Currently five patents competing for fresh. Um, those are all, Mr. Mister, those are all owned by Psyched Wellness. I know about them. It's all the same company. 
Doom, especially when it comes to mental health, how did you said is that show the wellness what? Which show? The um I was on the mushroom hour. We recorded yesterday. I don't know how long it will be in post-production. And then I'm going to be speaking at the Psychedelic Society of San Francisco. And then I'm going to be doing my own here. Sight Wellness is the company that I interviewed the CEO about. I made you a whole video about them, but I took it down because we say this too many times in the video. So that had to be taken down, but it is up over at my website. The FCC has been ruining the internet for a long time since way before four years ago. You probably don't remember. They started dismantling the internet right after the internet got started. Like back in the nineties, they started ruining the internet. So many levels to fight. See, and win is relative. They will not win. It's relative. This platform will win because they're a private corporation and do whatever the fuck they want. But as far as keeping people from using and legalization, that's happening. High blog is a decentralized blockchain. There's so much going on for chains, blockchains and cryptos. This message is held. Is my bit shoot gone? Show that Jesse. It shouldn't be gone though. Think space and minds are options too. Well, I'm already uploading to too many places and I am going to focus now on my website. I'm not going to be uploading anymore to any other social media platforms or any other platforms that I don't own, that I don't control what happens. I'm done with censorship. I'm done with worrying. I'm done with abusive relationships. I'm done. I'm done. I know where to find. I just wish I could see the, it's over there. It's there. Amitadreamer.net, how to create, what to do so that you can, yes, it's all over there. Amitadreamer.net, it's all there, man. It's all I've been doing for three weeks. Hi, let's see. Um, Where are we? Rambler, I was talking to you. Always mention you to anyone who has questions about it and the foraging. Oh, cool. You're an admin. Cool. Well, I guess now I'll tell them about this, the website. You'll get one. You'd like a mug also. Um, all right. I'll do a poll to see how many people would get a hat. Cool. Just tuned in. Hope all is okay. Hey, audio. Rewatch this later. All is not okay. But I got a website now, amanitadreamer.net. It'll be a unique attractor of its own. I agree, Pop Fizz. The only problem is nobody knows it's there. And what I'm thinking about doing is paying someone to do SEO to get me pushed up at the top of results on Google. When people do a Google search. Thanks to you guys. We start on the journey as a result. And it has been magical. Oh, yes, it is my independence lovely. And that's how I feel about it. Like at first I was upset and I cried and cried for three days. I didn't get out of bed. I cried and cried and cried. It was pathetic and disgusting. Until I realized what I had to do. And then I worried about that for like 24 hours. And then I did it. And then once I started getting enough of them uploaded, the weight. It's like one of those things you don't know how miserable you are until you get out from under it. And I've been so happy ever since. Any books on and how to find? Well, I have videos on that. And what I have that books don't have is in the description, the entire, the entire world and where they grow and with what trees. But if you want a book, this is your book. I can't say the name of it, but you can go get it on Amazon. And it's by Kevin Feeney. I too. That's over there on the website. You recently discovered that I am a Viking heritage. Cool, Walker. I would like to go out and put myself in a bazaar to feel what my answer felt. There's some controversy about that. And I have issue with what berserker really was. So let's it will be interesting. You should do that. And let's 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 talk about that. I'll make a video about that. It's in my lineup of things to make videos about. You would think I would run out of things to make videos about. These are all my notes. This is stuff that, that have to do with this entity. And these are all of the videos that I still want to like. It's ridiculous. I've got content for years. And let's see. But that's on the list. The Berserker thing is on the list. Interested in the guest ones where I live, thrive, June, September. What? 
Where do you live that they're growing in June? That's crazy. We'll email you, Marla. Okay. Also, I want to say you did the yogurt with the Greek. Good. With lactobacillus vulgaris. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, the, this one with the, yeah, that's uploaded over there on my website, amityadreamer.net. Saw the email about the Odyssey issue. So weird. It's so weird. Boil with them and then let it cool. The milk is still warm. Put in the yogurt. That's good to know. Put a blanket at room temperature. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks for this, Marlo. Um, let's see. It was weak, but zero. And I'm going to just not read that one out loud. I'm worried. Brian. Wow. That's kind of huge. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. That's awesome. Thanks, ma'am. Really? Yeah. Those are lacto recipes. And I think all of the Norse myths may have come from shaman who used them. Maybe heard of psych substance um psych substance is the very first entheogenic channel i ever watched and after i did all my research and was going to use and i felt good about it i was still scared and so i watched his video on it and it didn't kill him and i'm like all right well i like his channel but but the only reason that his channel is still up and he can put a disclaimer at the front of his videos and be okay is because back when YouTube owned YouTube and it wasn't owned by Google, he was getting strikes like I am all the time. And he, from, if I remember him telling the story correctly, it's been a very long time. He got an attorney and they hammered out an agreement. This was back when YouTube was run by actual human beings. And I have theories about that now. But you could actually talk to people and get help. And he had to get, in, from what I understand, he had to get an attorney. And they made agreements that a lot of it he couldn't talk about. But one of those agreements was his beginning, you know, with the disclaimer at the beginning. So he's kind of grandfathered in and protected. I, it, it won't, it doesn't matter. And if any of you are, if you want to see what I'm up against, go to my Twitter account and just read the exchange between me and the supposed humans at YouTube. It's just ridiculous. Northern Ontario. Oh, really? Really? The yellows and June mushrooms. Okay, you even got to be careful with that word. All right. Well, Canada's on my list. I'm going to Quebec first. Exactly. <laughs> Lobbyists for everything, right? I can't afford lobbyists. I don't have that kind of money. I have some really nice donors. I really, really do, but I don't have that level of money, especially when I'm trying to raise $250,000 for a project that's not going to pay anybody back for that money. I don't know. I think I might source it by just the jobs that I need to be done for the project. I don't have anything else to talk about. I have covered a lot. AmanitaDreamer.net. Please go over there. Shut this down. I'm happy to be back. But now, though, I'm terrified because now that I have two strikes, it means the next strike, they just take my channel down. So I live in fear of waking up every single day and finding out the channel is just gone. I have to do this for three months, which is why I was very scathing in all the videos I took down. But if I can get through the next three months without any violations, then I can slowly start returning some that are benign, like interviews and stuff like that. And we'll, I'll play with it and see what I can and can't say. So once all of my strikes are gone in three months, I get to restart. I can start over and I don't have to live afraid that my channel is going to get taken away. But between now and then, be patient with me. Be forgiving about the things that I cannot do over here. But we are really going to play over there on the website. And I'm trying to just sort of chill and sort of relearn now how to be in two places and keep moving that creative energy forward. So I have the whole story of the firing out back that I'm editing that I can upload to YouTube. That's harmless. And then I'm going to get back into content on, on that. The calendar is that the Etsy store is going to be open. I'm going to start doing that on the third ish Friday of the month. Thereabouts, but I'll announce it by sending you an email to let you know when that's going to happen. Always. We have the zoom meetings for patrons on the first and second Saturday of the month. 
you and I always will have our live streams on the second Saturday of the month and it will be on my website now. No longer on because you see how I'm going to censor myself and be careful. My Celium always wins. I hope so, man. <laughs> so much for all your work. I really admire. Oh, thank you, Abigail. Last time I was on this live, I mentioned about how the censorship wasn't coincidental. It was taking place during all the, but really, it, yeah, it's, it, well, it's not, it didn't just start two years ago. The censorship has been creeping in ever since Google bought YouTube. But it actually started with the FCC as soon as they realized what the Internet was becoming, especially when Facebook became a thing. The FCC got seriously intrusive. It's, it's a cross. It's it's a bigger thing than. What? The UK has had peaceful protests taken away. Seriously? Are you kidding me? Yes, I am. Kill Lumi. Yes, I am. Persistent. <laughs> that is one of the things that I am. I can be annoyingly persistent. <laughs> Aw, thank you. I'll be living the dream. You are so sweet. I've seen yours in Quebec. I've seen pictures, not real life, but I hope to see them in real life this fall. Yes, they do what they're going to do, Walker. Mauro, thank you. Oh, my God. Y'all are so supportive. <gasps> mm, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's all just going to be going toward that website. Thank you so much. Conscious Cat, seriously, yeah. Can't stay, but wish you the best. Yeah, we're about to hang up anyway. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Subconscious. And Tony, why not just make a short heads up video here to promote a new video on your website? Because I am already overloaded with work as it is. And what I'm probably going to do about that, I've been giving this a lot of thought, is I'll make whatever video I want to make to be uploading here, like about my firing. And at the beginning of every video, I'll do a short rundown. This is what my channel is about. Censorship, Amanita.net, Amanita.net, go there for blah, and then move on. You know what I mean? I really stressed over that, like every day for two weeks. I stressed about how to handle that. Tobacco nicotine research coming along. Um, I'm actually physically doing it and the results are kind of amazing. The dosage is like teeny tiny. The entourage effect and the stacking effect in my smoke blend and, and then the tobacco, it's blowing my mind. It's how I've been able to do this and work like 12, 14 hours a day. It's crazy is from a limited consciousness. Now, okay, see, y'all want to talk about the AI? Do y'all want me to talk about the AI? Because I've got things to say. My nose is just, hang on. I'm going to scratch my nose, not on camera. I don't want to be rude. Allergies in the southeast. Treejas is everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Steven, hang on a minute. I want to, uh, oh. I'm going to talk to you about the AI if y'all want to hear what I think. I have theories about the AI. May not have the largest community yet, but we all admire. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Jesse. We can make it a big community. We got enough people. We can make it bigger. AI opinion, not your nose itch. Okay. <laughs> y'all are hilarious. Okay. Here's the thing about the AI. It's really a far out theory, but if you listen to my reasoning behind it, I'm not married to the theory. All right. When I made my channel, one of the, okay, let me back up. You know, when Google bought YouTube, they were also buying up a lot of other things and they were really quiet about some of their other stuff. And it wasn't until Sophia the robot came out when they unveiled her to the world and talked about her and sort of around the same time that Tesla started talking about their self-driving car, that we started to hear whisperings because I listen to business news. I love business media and business news. I started hearing information about Google's involvement with all this stuff, but they weren't out front and center like everyone else, like these big announcements to help their stock price. It seemed like Google was sort of doing it on the down low and they were providing 
help and information and sort of working with these other companies that were involved in, in these cutting edge technologies. Well, it turned out, even though Tesla was working on a self-driving car and no one knew Google was, Google's self-driving car was the very first one to actually be set loose on the road. And it was for doing the, um, the Google Earth stuff, all the images that like when you do street view, those cars were put out on the road first. So Google was actually the very first one out there doing self-driving cars. Well, then they bought YouTube. Follow me. If you, if Google is always at the cutting forefront edge of these kinds of technologies, right? And they're sort of quiet and behind the scenes. And, and, Remember, you may not remember, but a long time ago when Google, they weren't, I don't know, they, Google had been around for maybe 10 years or something. And China asked them to build China's closed version of Google. They didn't want to do it. And they said publicly that they did not believe in that level of censorship. And that search results should be open and freely available. And they are the ones who invented the concept of an algorithm. And their algorithm was groundbreaking. This is what they do. Algorithms. Right? Gathering data and learning how to organize that data. Fast forward a couple of years and they agreed to build China's search engine. And then all of a sudden Google went quiet and they quit talking about it anymore. When they finished, all they announced was that it was finished. That's all they said. Shortly thereafter, they started buying up, like they bought YouTube. And then we find out they're working in the self-driving car thing, right? So what I believe happened is they, while they were in China working with China, they learned some things that China's doing. They got a hold of proprietary technology. They realized the power of data, but possibly also the power of AI. They saw the money in that power and I don't think they held on to their ethics after that. This idea that that search results should be open and, you know, they didn't believe in the. I think something happened to convince them that censorship is responsible business or it is a natural way of the world for capitalism that the money gets to determine what censorship is and not a government or the FCC, but that private corporations have the right to censor. I think that their whole, something happened to shift their mind, right? Then we find out that they are working on their own AI. Well, if you're working on an AI and you're Google and your whole way that you became what you are, was by crowdsourcing your information and creating an algorithm and then spitting that information back to your users, right? You do it in real time. You use it and practice it in real time. If you've developed your own AI, and why wouldn't they be? And you wanted to test it in a, in a closed system, in a real world scenario, where could you do that where you would have millions and billions of people helping you test your AI, well, you fucking buy YouTube and you set the AI loose, right? And you let it run and you don't intervene and you see what it will do. This is total theory and I'm just completely making this up. But on a personal note, let me tell you a very unsettling thing that happened. When I built my channel, I had to answer a, just a few little quick questions about, you know, like, is it, does it have this or that in it? Just, I don't know, for advertisers or whatever. It was a really short couple of questions. But about a year and a half ago, a new form showed up and it said, please fill out this form and tell us, do you 
say this word or that word? And is it in the first minute or the third minute or after that? Do you discuss this or that? And when you do, do you say it this way or that way? And this is all stuff you have to answer about the video that you're uploading, right? Oh, my nose again. Oh, my God. Allergies. So what I thought was happening is I was teaching what I believe is the AI about who I am and how the videos work. And then they'll go check it later. I thought this was to speed up the processing process because if I have a 20 minute video, it takes it sometimes an hour to an hour and a half to upload. I thought it was my computer, but now that I'm uploading to my own website and my videos are uploading in eight minutes or less, I realized it was the processing by the AI. They're going through this every single detail. But it's also learning about tracking objects on the screen. And it's also learning about what's in your still images, which you already know they can do, you know, on your phone. When you upload a picture, it shows their faces and wants you to tag people in it or whatever. That's old technology. We know that they can do. Oh, my God. My nose. Anyway, I thought that I was telling the AI these are the things that I do in this video so that they would know how to categorize you and what advertisers to push you toward. But after doing that for two weeks, I got a message that was very unsettling. And it said, congratulations, we have determined that you accurately answer your questions about your video. As a reward for being honest, we are going to process your videos faster for you allow you to have advertising on it. And then in the background, we will still be going through it and checking all these things. I am extremely honest because fuck them. I don't give a fuck. I'll be honest about it. I've always been honest. So I have always made a, maintained a 100% accuracy grade. I'm being graded. But they just decide on a whim a year later that some video violates terms of service and they take it down. But I've recently learned in some of the groups that I'm in with people that have YouTube channels that they suddenly can't have advertising and they're asking why. And I bring up that little form that they had to fill out. And they're like, oh, no, I lied all over it. And I said, because you're failing. The AI are training you. They're teaching you. If you don't answer your form right then you get punished by not getting any advertising. This is a totalitarian regime that is training us and teaching us how to behave and be good people. And we can get our tokens. And if we don't behave, we don't get our tokens. But I've recently had some weird shit happen. So do y'all know about um, the deep fake Tom Cruise on TikTok? If you don't know, then you need to number one, know what deep fake is. It's not a made up thing. It's real technology where they can, where AI looks at enough images and videos of a particular human and they can actually recreate video now, made up video that looks like that person talking and doing things. And there have been some done with different presidents and famous people. Well, there's a TikTok channel, Deep Fake Tom, and I thought it was Tom Cruise. Except something was a little weird and a little off. It didn't make it didn't feel right to me as a human being that's seen however many hours of that man. And sure enough, I looked into it and it was a deep fake. It, it's real now. The technology's real, right? Something happened on our creator studio on the back end of our channels when you're uploading video and all that stuff. There's a creator studio that you get access to where it's behind the scenes, helpful information and where the staff at YouTube answer your questions and they do different themes and they do different round tables and they try to help support you as a creator. Oh my God, this nose situation. Oh my God, I hate allergies. <laughs> it's only going to be for April. I promise. Something changed about that. There was a long period there where there was no support and our whole creator side of everything was devoid of any human faces and it was only written stuff and there were no there was no support there was no education there there was nothing to click on it was just gone and I was like well I didn't really get much out of it anyway so I didn't think much of it and this went on for shit like six months I think 
And then all of a sudden it came back and they were unveiling it as this whole new, we're going to be doing this for you and we're going to be doing that for you. Only y'all, it was really weird. In the same way that deep fake Tom is really weird. And you know how you know humans because you just, you know, humans I got a really sick, dark feeling in my chest. What, like the minute they came back up and they said, we're unveiling, blah, blah, blah. Like I instantly just went, oh my God, something's very wrong here. Something's very wrong here. Something's very wrong here. Like I just started sinking and feeling scared in my chest. Watching it. And I'm like, what is wrong with me? Why am I feeling this way? And I didn't trust it. I was like, what's going on? What are they trying to say? What are they doing? And I was like, okay, I'll click on a video. I watched one of their support videos and I watched it. And y'all, I have never heard a human just speak directly into the camera and say a bunch of stuff and say absolutely nothing helpful, nothing at all. Like they spoke for 10 minutes and said nothing. And I don't know what to tell you about their facial expressions. Y'all, it wasn't, it, it wasn't people. Ever since then is when they started attacking my channel. My very first strike was over a year ago. And this happened just about the same time. And when I appealed it, I wrote an educated appeal with links to support my position. And it was denied faster than the amount of time it takes to watch the video. And so I called. There was a phone number you could call. And the guy that answered the phone said, yes, ma'am, I hear you. I understand what you're saying. I don't know why they didn't. I can escalate the situation, blah, blah, blah. And so what it was, was a video, I think where I was. Oh, I the the title was how to grow. And the very first thing I said out of my mouth is you can't like that's the first thing I said. And they took it down for teaching about how to do that to a dangerous and deadly and illegal whatever. And I'm like, did they not even like listen to it? Like the very first sentence is that you like it was a it was technically clickbait. And so he said, yeah, that is weird. I'll escalate it. And then I didn't hear anything back. And then I got an email that just said, you know, we reviewed below. Well, uh, we still uphold that you violated. our." And I was like, OK, this is something's weird about this. It's, this is not right. And then it has only gotten progressively worse. What do you do if you want to have an abusive dictatorship or totalitarian regime? Or are you just a narcissistic asshole? You change the rules and you never explain that the rules have been changed. And then you punish for breaking the rules. And that's what they did. They suddenly changed the rules about that were allowed to stand all these videos that have been allowed to stand for almost two years. Why would you not put out a notification that says we are now changing the rules about the following things? If your channel is about that, the following things will no longer be allowed. How easy would that be? They're putting out all these helpful videos about how to be a creator and they can't shoot an email out that says that so that we go, well, shit, you know, we just start taking the videos down. So why would they not? I can tell you because I fell right in line and they're watching. The AI are learning. They're watching how we react to this and what we do. And the other people that I'm talking to, who this is happening to their channels. It's all happening on the same night of the week. And they're striking the same number of videos. They're doing it in the same way. They're picking the same keywords each time they do it. And then they pick another set of keywords and then they pick another set of keywords. We are all reacting in the exact same ways by freaking out and taking down ourselves, other videos. So we're doing their job for them. We are being trained. This isn't about being fair or helping us keep a channel. I believe they set the AI loose and they're watching what happens. What do the AI decide to do? What rules do they put in place? What does their goal become? And I believe that they're training us and seeing how we react to it. How controllable are we? 
What can they get us to do? Because I can tell you, if you go watch that, read that thread on my Twitter, that's some fucked up shit. I know this all sounds outlandish and I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm really not. Y'all know that I'm not. I'm a very level headed person. I'm just telling you based on the things I know and then the things I've experienced and the things that are weird, it's just like a thing I'm throwing out there. Like how weird would it be if that's what's happening? Is it? Uh, probably, you know, YouTube's headquarters is full of human beings and people are on the phone and people are answering and people are doing shit. And there's some other reason why this is going down like this. And I'm just being paranoid or I'm being stupid. I don't know. So don't hate me, YouTube. I love you, AI. And I love you, humans. You're only doing your job and I'm leaving. I went somewhere else with the shit you don't like. So. <clears throat> okay. What are you guys saying? 23andMe login is a Google login now. <gasps> it's fun to get upset about shit like this. It's very easy to get involved in this. See, so you get your vid to... CO to get ger. I don't know what you're trying to say, Lincoln. <laughs> Mind blown, Jesse. Yeah, well, sorry. I didn't mean to. Let me scroll back up. What did I miss? The AI. Okay. Please talk about it. I remember hearing that the Google cars are automated. Whatever happened to that? Have you seen the guy who invented the first quantum compared to summoning look? No, I don't know. AI based on agreement is limited to a lower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Simon, I agree. Nope. Solo, it does not, does it? Has no ethics. Data talks from moon. Well, I don't get into all that stuff. I, I, I don't think this is a conspiracy as much as it is experimental practices by a company that bought this, you know, something like YouTube. It's harmless. They're just going to learn from it. It's an experiment and they're learning from it. And maybe it'll all be over and they'll take it control again and apologize and give everyone their channels back. I don't know. I'm the AI. Maybe I am. COVID is a scene. David said about us. to get some that 23 and me thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. YouTube being a training platform. Machine intelligence, a frightening observation. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Solo. Yes. Fearful. Right. Perceptive. Grateful. Well, maybe I'm perceptive. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. We'll see. Jesse, it would be shady, wouldn't it? That's what I feel AI does. We feed it by what we express in its platforms. It learns, hijacks it, and then use it against us to control us further. Maybe. I would like to think that Google is observing and they just want to let it run to its end and see what happens. I would like to think that we're teaching the AI how to be benevolent, how to love each other and how to be good. But unfortunately, like we're not. Look at how we're treating each other. Look at what's been happening. It's really shitty. And this, then the AI are learning like the way to be human is to be hateful and shitty. The uncanny value, especially we developed it to identify non-humans in a time when there were multiple sapiens on Earth and we had to identify friend from foe. Hmm. People don't realize this, but the Internet is conscious. See, that's what I think. I think that happened about the time Google got back from China. I think that something happened in China. They learned something about what China was doing and brought it back. Transforming from organic beings with freedom of choice and thought to digital beings with set parameters controlled by AI. Well, I mean, that very well may be the future of humanity, Jeff. Mallory, it has already been grooming me. It's been grooming me for a year and a half. You all don't even know the stress that I've suffered, the crying and the panic attacks because of it. Like, I'm sick of suffering. I'm Adrian and you like my channel. Thank you. Oh, hey, Adrian's on Turtle. Hey. I was right about almost everything except you could not predict social media and cell phones. Yeah. Or Fahrenheit 451. That's a fucked up book that came true, right? I'm the people that live across the railroad tracks in Fahrenheit. We'll always be here. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Chris. We will always be here for any changes you make in the future. I just wrote a paper on the downfalls of prohibition. What? Ooh. You need to post that on the forum. Go to the forum and post that. Will you please? Some ideas are shy. For sure, they're testing us. See how controllable we are. We're totally controllable. So it's not conspiracy, but I think many of us can agree that there's fairly inexplicable social machine phenomenology going on right now. Adrienne, I accidentally left my location on 
went to a store and they go, oh no, that's already a thing. I realized I was being tracked in a store like two years ago when I went to Walmart and they had, it was a temporary thing, but they had these screens up when you walked in and it locked on your face and then it flashed. And then they were all over the store and everywhere I was, it was, you could see it was tracking me and it was tracking everyone. And all the items I purchased showed up as ads later, but like, that's not a big deal. That, I mean, that happens all the time now, even all the stores now, the unmanned um, Amazon stores, like they know how much you weigh when you walk in and then the weights of the items so that they know that you paid for everything. I said, well, see, not that that's bad, but kind of weird. Yeah, it is weird. I mean, some of this is good and it makes life better. Perhaps the darkness of shows being upheaved by the machine. That's a lot to unpack. Well, yeah, I mean, based on the definition of sentience, Regina, as if we humanity are doing shadow work. Oh, 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 thank you, Solo, for the hug. Winston Smith, under the spreading chestnut tree, I sold you and you sold me. I absolutely will. I interviewed Kim as Casey William Hansen for it to post it. Oh, good. Thank you. Y'all go to the forum. Chris is going to post his paper about censorship. All right. All right, then. Y'all, 44 is a new record of attendance. This is my last live on YouTube. If you're here watching from now on. I'm learning how to use OBS. My son just downloaded it. I'm going to get on it and start learning. Y'all, I got to say one thing about this. I've always been an intelligent human being. I've always moved quickly. I've loved learning languages. I've loved being young. I loved absorbing knowledge. Like if there's anything I do, it's learn quickly. But once the benzos got a hold of me, y'all know my story. It freaked me out. It made me sad. And I knew I would never be the same again. But I have to tell you, ever since I upgraded my channel a year ago, got better software, got really good editing software, I was really afraid about the learning curve and how long it was going to take to learn it. I learned it so fast that I have been growing and learning and doing things so rapidly. It's kind of crazy. And now I'm not even intimidated about having to make a website. Like Learning how to make the website wasn't the problem. It was the expense. And I sat down and, and within a couple of hours, I had it and I was working with it. it. Had to be on tech support, you know, a couple of times, whatever, about bugs and glitches and stuff with it. We worked those out. I got in a groove uploading videos and making content and being a guest on shows. My ability to multitask now working 10 and 12 hour days effortlessly. And now I'm like, OK, I got to learn new streaming software. Download OBS. Get on that. I'll learn that. It's insane that at my age, after what I've been through with benzos, that I am doing this. It, and it's all this and that supplement video I made about all the supplements that I've been taking, but also the smoke blends I make, the ones that deal with addiction, those also have learning things in them that help your speed of memory and learning. And then also that stuff I did about nicotine but it takes so little. Like I can't sell that in my smoke blends. It's prohibited to, to sell it, but you could do it, put it in the smoke blend. And when I say a little, I mean very little, but I can't show you on camera here, but I will show you on camera at amanitadreamer.net and you can buy smoke blends and put that, put the nicotine in it. It's crazy. I never thought I would recover like this. It took two years though, to get my brain back from what Benzos did. My glasses are filthy. You ever considered if I and can be made? Yeah. Oh, they are. They were made synthetically back in the 60s. The two sides of the actives in this. Yeah. They're used in research all the time. Oh, my God. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Y'all are amazing. Thank you, Solo. <gasps> we are a family of information. Let's be harmonious. We can learn to triumph over fear through love. I've missed y'all so much. Three weeks is a long time to be without my family. Thank you, Solo. Thank you. <laughs> y'all are amazing. I was so worried about this. Okay, OBS is nice, is it? I'm probably going to have a lot more freedom with it, aren't I? 
end of an era audio yet yeah, oh end of lots of eras but also it's the beginning like of so much you know with these the walls and the changes and data that oh y'all just need to hear my interviews all these interviews i've been doing and guests that i've you, we get into this stuff. It's cool. Theta, that's where you need to be for streaming on the block. And no one telling you. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Simon. Blessings to you. Hey, Michael. Aw, I miss you too. You like the turtles. Theta is the future and no censorship. Brian, so what is Theta? Y'all, I'm already on too many platforms. I've got to, I've got to streamline and focus. And I think I need to put everything into my website, doing in-person stuff with y'all, inviting you to come play with me. And yes, you can send me these. Yep. Nothing else though. I can't accept anything illegal. And liquids and things like that, I can't, I can't use food stuff like that. I can't use, but because I know what these are, yeah, definitely. Hey, Adam, we covered a lot. Um, I have a few more subscriptions I've got to pay for. A few more things I got to do to the website. I got to go learn OBS. We have the Zoom meetings for the patrons coming up this Saturday and the following Saturday. I go live the second Saturday on my website, so I've got two weeks. I'll be practicing the live thing. If you want to be notified of my practice session for OBS live on my website, I'll send that email out. So if you're signed up to the emails on my channel and she can, she even say, I know that's kind of the problem that I'm like here. Emanitadreamer.net. I'm kind of worried that that's going to, it's okay if I trigger the bots to pay attention, as long as what I'm saying isn't anything prohibitory about it. You know what I'm saying? Timothy in Quebec. Can't wait for this year's heart. Oh my God. Me too, man. Me too. Thank you, Regina, for dropping the link. Do you think it is safe if used sometimes? It doesn't affect the liver at all. They don't affect the liver. If you're having pain there, it's something else, but it doesn't affect the liver. I use it. It's, it depends on what you mean by often because my protocol that I laid out, which is no longer on YouTube, but is over on my Website, I'm getting tired. Has the protocol? It, the protocol you you'll get numb to it because it actually works. It's it's healing, so you don't need it. So if you take it, you start to get dull, like blunted, like a a flat affect. You'll notice that if you're taking too much. So I make things up. Thank you. Why do you make things up? What are you talking about? <laughs> I like the clover though that you sent me, Michael. I'm excited about my tattoo that I'm getting. All right. It's getting grainy and dark in here because it's dark outside and my window was open providing light. So I'm going to go inhale my own blend and I'm going to take the rest of the night off and I'm going to get up in the morning and start learning OBS. I, like I said, I've got three new videos uploaded over there. I'm going to edit the video about my, Fire ring out back. We're having another party around the fire ring this Friday night. We're going to play music and dance around the fire. And I'm going to start working on getting a price worked up for any, the in-person workshop drum seminar ceremony thing. I don't even know what to call it yet. I just don't know if any of y'all will be interested in it. Okay. Mushroom queen. I like that name. You like my tattoo, Michael? I need a, I need a, oh, I need a crown that's got these on it, y'all. What the fuck? That would be great. Applications on cluster headaches. Yes, Marlo, it is absolutely used for headaches. It's been used that way for a long time by indigenous cultures, migraines, all of that. Psyched Wellness is actually probably going to seek FDA approval for use for that. Wild mushroom in general are weird. I ate animal mushroom may feel relaxed. Oh, cool. Um, Jacob, did you see my experience where I did eight and a half grams of those on camera? It's uploaded over on my website. I have a love hate relationship with them. You'll have to watch the follow up video I made talking about them. And then I did an integration session talking about it. But I think I need to travel and do them again. I like them. 
but I'm not in love with them. They are teachers and they cannot be nice sometimes. Oh, thank you, Simon, for the bubble. Oh, it's warm. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Adrian. I did. Glad I was able to catch the end. Me too, Solo. Regina, I'm in. Jacob, why are you going? Oh, for the amount I did? Look, you. I keep saying, like, y'all don't know me. You think you know me. You don't know me. I need a more mellow journey. Okay, the reason why I did so much is because I had to travel a long way to do it. And I was afraid. And I knew I had a lot to work on. And I didn't want to underestimate and it be a lackluster video for all the money and time and I not get anything out of it. And I was like, for this, for the expense, for the travel, for all of this, I'm going to go big and I'm going to make absolutely certain. Now you're right. I do need to do chill, enjoyable. Yeah. It wasn't too soon. I needed to do it. It cracked open some really deep shit that these moves I'm making now I can do because of what that experience, what I learned and what they taught me and what they took from me and what they gave me on that journey. Everything that's happening in my life now is because of those. Yeah, they cannot be nice sometimes, but I'm very grateful for what they did. What they did, they did with love. Filtered? Michael, what do you mean by filtered these? Lower doses are chiller. I know. I've seen people on them. I want to do that, too. It'll be interesting. Um, Chris posted the paper on the forum, the self-imposed cumulative effects from the war on drugs. Oh, my God, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. No, Amanita helps with dopamine-based addictions. So things like painkillers, nicotine, sugar, alcohol. Blessings and love to you. But also my smoke blend that helps with it also works on others. I put several chemicals, things in that blend to help whatever. Okay. Got to be careful. Blessings and love to you. You helped along my journey and following my first and then a whole world of my seal. Oh, yay. Oh, solo. Yeah, that's so great. This is community. This message is held for review audio. You said <laughs> cracked open deep shit. Yep, that's what it does. <laughs> ah, need to try the C ones. Completely different. Come to the Pacific Northwest. Okay. No, I am going to the Pacific Northwest because there's a lot of people that I need to see there. And then I'm going to go on up into Quebec. Archie, it deals with childhood trauma. So did this. But these, that trip dealt with like stuff from about seven to eight up through my teenage years. Triggers dopamine. No, the M side of it, not the IBO side, but the other side of it triggers dopamine. Let's say if you take and psychotic or not, it doesn't matter whether you, you know, had a journey it does bump up dopamine. Never done any substances except for can. Okay, Adrian, that's, it depends on, you know, like I have to stick with publicly saying, wait till your brain is fully formed. Did you have any encounters with the spirit realm, the land of the dead? I mean, I had big encounters with the spirit realm. I talk about it on camera. Go over there and watch all the I do videos. I talk about it, but no, I didn't meet the land of the dead. That's interesting. What is it? I want to know. Lincoln, go post about the land of the dead on the forum. I want to know. Dude, I know about what you've got in the UK with the liberties, man. Y'all are insane over there. Silside dead broke me down, built me back up sometimes. See, that's what I feel solo. I've been in a really rough place ever since October in that thing. This experience brought me out of it. This was graduation. What YouTube did to me and what I've done in the last three weeks have been dark. I've cried more in the last three weeks than the last two or three years. And I definitely every single day felt that experience talking to me. And it's been the graduation and I feel so different now and really grateful. 
They keep monitoring you, audio. I just love the visionaries getting over the wounds and shit is priceless, but a true moment of radical visualization of visionary perfections for, I think, consciousness is forever. I do too. We talk about that also. Who did I talk about consciousness with? I want to do more podcasts and talk about consciousness more. I don't know, make a video talking about consciousness. Feel the mind of the soil here. <gasps> I am a sensitive solo. I want to feel that. Well, I went and talked to the, the underground of this during this whole mess. I went and sat and talked to them. It was amazing. I might make a video about it. It was really, it was so overwhelming and personal that I don't know if I can talk about it yet. Felt ever to love while taking with someone. Oh yeah, Marlo, definitely. That's ramped up. When I smoke this, I get into a trance state and everything is open. Consciousness is open. I fly with the elders. It's kind of a big deal. I'll be doing that in a ceremony when I have people come here. You know, we do this in-person thing with y'all, whoever wants to come. I'm going to do that. A lot of it. The Liberty are powerful. They kick my ass. <laughs> with a name like Liberty, they exist in the USA. <laughs> Whatever. No, they're here. They're here. Talk about consciousness and they watch you. I know. I have to be careful. I'll be careful, audio. Thank you for the reminder. Tears are a powerful flow of energy, right? If you like tales of the owner, water and spirit. Okay. Jacob, now, now, behave. Make video talking with a cool visual. I don't, I will make videos about that, conscious all that over on my website. How about that? We'll get into that there. Watch us, but who cares? They can kill our bodies and not our soul. Well, Jesus, Archie, I don't think they're trying to make us leave the planet just yet. Although they can drive you to do it for yourself. Leave the planet yourself. They put me through so much bullshit. But nothing but good things have come of it. All right, I'm going to bow out now. I'm tired. I'm going to go smoke. I'm going to go chill. I'm going to make me some tea. I'm going to be happy that y'all love me so much. Okay. Thanks, Solo, for the vote of confidence. Zacto, Archie. All right, then. Let's go. Let's check out. I'm going to go make y'all an email. Those of you that signed up for the email, you have to go check your email and approve it. They do that to make sure it doesn't go to a spam folder. So any of you that haven't checked your email and clicked to accept emails from me, I'll go turn that off. Why don't I go turn that off? I'll go turn that off. Oh, it's a porcelain. Um, it was a, sh a salt shaker, like a little salt shaker, but it was chipped and broken. So I took clay and put it around it and made this out of it. And then I baked it, you know. Cheers. I love you and your channel. I love all of you. Fun videos. Yep. Where do you find the forum? The Go to the description of any video here. And the link to the forum is there. Or you can just Google... Amnita Research Forum, and you'll get it. You would keep your, there's nothing, you, this doesn't open. This is, it's all like, it's closed, but I made this. I have a video of me making it. No one watches my arts and crafts videos. I guess I'm boring, but look. <laughs> Thank you, Solo. It's going to be very peaceful. I've been stressed out and worried that nobody would care and nobody would come to this and that my welcome back video that everyone will have left my channel thinking I abandoned it. I've been scared about what to say. I've been scared that no one would go sign up for the email. I, didn't, I felt this pressure about coming back and y'all just totally like lifted that off my shoulders. I feel really grateful. Maybe, Jacob. I've been reading about that lately. I'm going to make a video about the Vikings. Yep, y'all are awesome, Jacob. Looks like the jester entity, really. I like that entity very much. All right, y'all. I love you. Thank you so much for showing up. Y'all are amazing. I love you all. We have a great community. 
go forth and tell the world about that website so people know that are hurting, that are scared, that are stuck, that are addicted, that are on the benzo, that are panicky, like they need this help and now I'm no longer available. Searches won't. I don't know how to find them or help them now, so it's going to be on y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh, y'all are so sweet. We will spread the light of love. All right. I'm going to go post on the community tab. Love you all.